Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's a ransomware warning for the new crypto locker type ransomware called uh, Los Paulos. It's based on the Breaking Bad film and uh, it's a, a ransomware. As you can see here, it encrypts all your files. It's giving us a warning here. As soon as I click OK here, it will change all the desktop as you'll see. So Los Paulos Jimenos um, is the latest type that's doing the rounds. Now the way you can protect yourself from these types of uh, ransomware is to make sure that you back up your files regular. It's the age old question, back up, back up, back up. It's, if you do that, then you're not gonna fall foul to this type of uh, problem. If you fall foul to it, it doesn't really matter because you can just wipe the system and put all your data back. Okay, you will be inconvenienced by having to do that, but it means all your data is safe. Now the way these people work is by encrypting all your files and then holding you to ransom knowing that you want them files back. Most people don't back up and this is why people fall foul to it. Never pay for these types of encryption uh, ransomwares or any type of other uh, scam you know because this is what they are they're trying to scam you is your data that that valuable to you to make you want to uh, pay for something that's what you've got to ask your question really to yourself and uh, also if you do get these protecting yourself against these is um is okay i mean there's loads of ways of protecting yourself uh, but the best way is by backing up your data and keeping it in a safe location away from the computer and then you won't ever fall foul to this problem uh, you can just revert back anyway so let's take a look at what we've got here as you can see it's starting to encrypt everything now shadow explorer you could use that you can see it's encrypted this area here uh, and the reason why it wants to do that is to stop you using that and uh, but that's a good way of sort of trying to get your files back is using uh, previous versions of uh, system restore points and we can take a check of that in a second now also again um, you can see here all your pictures and stuff will be encrypted you'll see these files here all encrypted you can't rename these they are all encrypted as you can see I'll take this bit of text out here and you can see this but as soon as you click on it you'll get nothing as you can see so and there is no way of uh, decrypting these files as of yet um, as far as I know uh, so if you have got encryption and you do want to get them back and you don't have backups then you could be in big trouble and uh, I wouldn't advise you to pay for it but I mean this is uh, what, what they tend to do you don't even know whether you're going to get your files back if you did pay for it so let's take a look at roughly where these I mean there's loads of files that it puts on the system let me just quickly show you um, some areas uh, here I'm going to untick this as well and if we look inside users and then let's try all users first and look inside here okay just go back here and go into my account and then we'll look at this app data and then roaming uh, shadow explorer that's okay Microsoft let's have a look inside crypto and inside here you can see it's managed to uh, get to this area by crypto locker you can see and it gives you some information here hundred dollars again uh, once I come back out here and go into local you'll probably find some stuff in temp files here you can see this file here this is the uh, actual ransom as well now if you do remove this ransomware remember uh, there's no way of getting your files back unless you can use something like shadow explorer or something like that okay and you have got um, backups in your um, in your system restore points you may be able to do that we'll test that in a second but you can see the file is is there and again uh, icon uh, cache database has been hit as well as you can see so let me just uh, go into, I mean, these areas are all going to be hit by this sort of stuff. Um, but there's quite a few other areas as well. I should imagine registry uh, files and stuff like that. And I'm not going to list them all on the uh, on here. But you'll, you'll see generally if you look around, you will find stuff. Okay. Now you can use different methods of removing this. I'm going to go into safe mode with networking here. 
and restart the system. Okay, so I was tapping F8 to get into the advanced boot options here. And uh, what we're going to do here is go into safe mobile networking. Now this, on this version, it doesn't run in safe mobile networking. You can download files. So while we're here, I'm just going to delete that file on the desktop. And you can see the uh, CD, uh, burn CD disk here. That's to do with that as well. Now what we'll do is do a quick scan with Hitman Pro first. And uh, I mean, you may need to do numerous different scans with different tools to try and find it if you're not capable of going in there manually and removing it, okay? So I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for you guys so you can uh, remove it and then try to recover your data. But what we'll do here is see what we find there. I can see here system.pif run is a Trojan and this file here in the temp file it's found which we was talking about so we can remove those uh, from there again in the download section this is the file that I run which I put on my desktop so that's found that file as well so we'll remove these uh, okay we need to activate this so I'm just going to quickly do this now Okay, so we're activated here, and we're just going to go through here. Unable to create a restore point, and it's been disabled, as you can see here. So we're just going to quickly remove these. And then we'll quickly reboot again. I'm going to go back into the safe mobile networking. Again, we want to do another we'll scan with uh, Malwarebytes here. Now, the more scans we can do with different types of things, the more chance you guys have got finding it, okay? Okay, so that's a scan now finished, and you can see it's found something here. So I'm going to quickly remove that. And uh, we're going to restart... Okay, so I want to get uh, ESET uh, this time. So I'm just going to quickly go online and get this. And uh, we'll run a quick scan with this one here. Just quickly install this. Okay, so we're going to go into advanced here. Okay, search archives to see. Just do a start start on that without searching the archive here. We'll just give it a a test and see what we can find see if it finds any other stuff on the system now why that's doing that what I want to do here is have a look at Shadow Explorer I've reinstalled it and uh, from here you can see you've got restore points here that you can have a look at okay now yours may go way back and uh, hopefully you may still be able to pull files out of your restore points depending on how far they go back these are all on the same day as you can see but if you go back weeks in time and stuff you may be able to retract uh, some information from these to to put it back on the system and it's pretty simple you here where you want to go to and uh, once you get to the area you want to go to uh, you can just 
click on what you want to do and then uh, export those and then you can just right click and export like so and it'll export it to wherever you want to go so if you want to export it to your desktop you can do that click OK and pull out all your files so we'll let this scan complete and then we'll come back when it's done I'm going to delete these quarantine files and click finish Okay. Anyway, run a scan with auto runs. Had a little quick route through to see what I could find. See if there's anything here. And uh, everything's okay inside there. Process Explorer. Again, we can have a quick look in there. Everything's looking okay now. inside there and again uh, run a quick scan with panda cleaner as well I did and uh, see if there's anything else left behind and everything else was is here okay so the system seems to be back up and running so basically yeah that's uh, pretty much done it's clean but obviously the data is still an issue uh, you've lost all your data uh, you can re try to restore some of this from backups if you have you can delete all this stuff um, if you wish uh, pretty much this is what was on there so you can delete whatever it is on there and recover all your data go around and you can clean off all the rest of this stuff and have a good cleanup if you want to wipe it and you've got backups then by all means you can do that but pretty much that's it in a nutshell really these ransomwares are a nightmare and they do cause a lot of problems and that's why they continually make them uh, to cause um, problems for people and their computers if you haven't got your data backed up then you're in big trouble and uh, if you've got other devices connected to it it will also encrypt all that stuff as well and a thing to remember don't click on any attachments don't use peer-to-peer -peer software don't use that sort of stuff okay don't download uh, unknown executables from the internet don't go to dodgy sites and you should be okay keep yourself safe and uh, you should be all right Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from BriotechComputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or anything like that or you just want to join in, in the fun and have a chat, then you can always head over to the forums. The information is up on the screen right now. Other than that, have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.